Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning how to make a egg catching game in Scratch. So now let's get started. First we can upload images of the egg from the internet and a bowl and a backdrop of your choice. Now we will go to the coding of the bowl. First when the flag is clicked, we will take the block forever. And inside the forever block, we will put two if blocks. So first put one if block and duplicate it and put it beneath it. So now two if blocks and in the first if block, We'll put key left arrow pressed from sensing and then duplicate it and put it in the second if block as key right arrow pressed. If the key left arrow is pressed, we'll want it to change x by minus 10. And when the right arrow key is pressed, we want it to change x by 10. That means it will move towards the right. Now we'll do the coding of the x. So first take the flag clicked block and then make a variable named score. Okay. And then we can change the score variable to a larger readout and place it somewhere clear. It is visible on the screen like this and then set score to zero. After the set score to zero, we'll go to looks and take the switch costume to egg. That means the position of the egg when it is not cracked. After the switch costume to egg, we will take the block, go to random position and beneath it we will put set y to 180. Beneath set y to 180, we will go to controls and take the forever block. Inside the forever block, we will go to motions and take change y by minus 5. That means it will change y by minus 5 and the egg will coming downwards. Then take a if block and inside the if block we will put a lesser than sign. In the first cell of the lesser than sign we will put y position and in the second cell we will put minus 170. Like this and then we will upload a small sound. And the sound can be any sound you like. I will be choosing tennis hit. Like this. Tennis hit. And then... Apply it to the code by going to sound section and taking the start sound tennis hit. Beneath the start sound tennis hit will switch its costume to the cracked egg. So it switch costume to the egg like this and then here egg that means the cracked egg. Okay. Now this column of coding is done. We'll do another column of coding. So first, doing before doing the another column of coding, wait 0 0.4 seconds. That means we want it to wait for some time so the player can see. And also, don't forget to put go to random position like we did for the before and switch costume to egg. That means the not cracked egg. The original position of the egg and then we wanted to put set position to the upper part of the screen that means 180 y equals to 180 and then we'll do the second column for the second column we'll take when the flag is clicked again separately and then inside the when flag is clicked we'll take a forever block inside the forever block we'll take the if block and in the if block, we can put, um, you can put touching bowl. So if it's touching bowl, we want it to change score by one. So change score by one from variables, and then upload a sound of your choice. I'll be taking the sound, like search any sound of your choice. I'll be taking small cowbell this one and then go to the code and apply it by going to the sound section and take the start sound small cowbell beneath the small start small cowbell sound we'll put go to random position again and switch costume to the not cracked egg that means the egg costume and beneath the switch costume to egg we'll put another block by going to motions and taking the set y to 180 that means it will go to the 
upper part of the screen. Now the coding of the egg is done. We will duplicate the eggs two times. So there are three eggs on a screen now that will be falling. So now a game is good to go. So we can test out a game. First you might want to stop this coding. So check out. So this is the whole coding of the eggs. Like this and this is coding of the bow. Now let's check out the game. So when the flag is pressed. We can collect the eggs and if the egg get, falls it will crack as you can see now my score is 10 collect collect and we will go on collecting we can control the bowl by pressing the right arrow and the left arrow key that means when the right arrow key is pressed it will go to right and when the left is pressed it will go to left the background also looks nice 30 31 my score is now 32 33 and you can play it nicely like this yes like this my score is now 42 i think now the game is good so just let's play a little more 50 and then 51 now let's stop it so if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe for now, bye. Meet you next time.